Expo, we were getting live pictures of our Korean leader Kim Jong-un, who is meeting the Singapore Prime Minister. That's before the big summit that the North Korean leader, the chairman, will have with the U.S. president. The U.S. president is still to arrive in Singapore, but these are meetings from the Singapore's uh, Prime Minister's office of uh, the meeting that Kim Jong-un will have, uh, is having with the uh, Singapore Prime Minister. President Trump is also expected to meet the uh, Singapore Prime Minister as well. Uh, earlier today, Kim Jong-un arrived on an Air China flight from uh, Pyongyang to Singapore and was uh, seen in his uh, motorcade as he drove from the Changi International Airport to the hotel where he is uh, currently staying. President Trump also cut short or didn't attend all the functions at the G7 in Canada and is en route to Singapore, is expected to arrive later this evening. He's also expected to have a separate one-on-one -on -one meeting with the Singapore Prime Minister. King Jong-un and his delegation arrived a few hours back in Singapore. A meeting between Kim Jong-un and uh, the U.S. President is scheduled for the 12th. They have uh, uh, identified a location, the Capella, which is a secluded location on an island off the main Singapore island for the actual summit with both leaders staying in separate hotels in Singapore City itself. A lot of... Uh, speculation on what exactly will be agreed when the two leaders meet. President Trump also spoke about his hopes and aspirations for the meeting as he left Canada for Singapore, leaving the G7 meet early. President Trump also saying that this is a one shot for North Korea, but added that he would be able to make out within the first minute or so whether Kim Jong-un was serious on issues like denuclearization, President Trump going on to say that uh, he would not waste either his time or Kim Jong-un's time if he got any inkling that the North Korean leader was not serious. The North Korean leader arrived in Singapore a few hours ago on an Air China flight, an uh, Air China Boeing that is usually reserved for top Chinese officials. He flew in on that. Reports suggest that another cargo plane also followed or came in slightly before with various equipment that would be needed for the North Korean leader's visit. He's meeting the Prime Minister of Singapore currently. Mion is following those developments closely on the ground from Singapore and Ramesh Ramchandran now joining us. Uh, Ramesh, the first of the official meetings that Kim Jong-un is having is with his host with the Singapore Prime Minister. We're seeing pictures of that released by the Singapore Prime Minister's office. Indeed, uh, this is uh, being described as a courtesy call, uh, customary practice in diplomacy when you uh, arrive in a country, you, are, you invariably meet the host uh, leadership so this uh, meeting with the Prime Minister of Singapore should be seen in, the, in that light. But it comes in the context of Singapore playing a key role in bringing the two countries, North Korea and the U.S., together, uh, in a, enabling uh, the meeting to take place between Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un. And one can expect Singapore to play a key role going forward as well, given its uh, neutrality uh, on such issues and its uh, security, uh, uh, sort of uh, secure and environment it provides for the such meetings to take place. Ramesh, as you're saying, this is a customary meeting with the host. President Trump is also expected to meet the Singapore Prime Minister when he arrives. That's right. Kim Jong-un was the first among the two leaders to arrive in Singapore earlier today. And uh, the Donald Trump is expected to reach uh, later tonight by about 9 p.m. Uh, local time, Singapore time. Uh, and this comes uh, straight uh, from his G7 summit in Canada. So both leaders arriving before uh, their expected arrival here in Singapore. And tomorrow will be one full day devoted to uh, preparatory talks between the respective delegations of the U.S. and North Korea before the 9 a.m. meeting between Trump and Kim on Tuesday morning at the Capella Hotel on the Sentosa Island, which, by the way, has become a turn into a fortress overnight with security barricades and security restrictions being put in place 
by the Singapore authorities. Uh, no bystanders, no locals being allowed to venture anywhere near the Capella Hotel. Uh, one can only see the hotel from a distance. Uh, so security is tight and uh, there's an air of anticipation here as we speak. With many Singaporeans uh, expecting the peace talks to foster peace on the Korean Peninsula as also uh, reduce the threat of nuclear weapons in the Indo-Pacific region. Earlier we saw pictures of Kim Jong-un arriving on an Air, uh, Air China flight that uh, aircraft usually used for top Chinese leaders. Indeed, that's the most uh, interesting and significant uh, uh, portion or, or, the, or the episode of Kim Jong-un's travels to Singapore. One was expected, uh, expected him to travel by his illusion, the 1960s vintage uh, Soviet-era aircraft, but he chose to fly in an Air China aircraft loaned or given to his administration by China. And that, to my mind, is significant because that underlines the importance of China in these negotiations. China may not be a direct party involved in the Trump and Trump Kim meeting, but it's always been watching the development stories on the sidelines. And remember, any resolution of the Korean Peninsula dispute will have have to have China on board. Remember, the 1953 armistice was signed by North Korea, the U.S. and U.N. and China. So any resolution of the Korean Peninsula issue will need to have North Korea, the U.S., South Korea and China on board. So China continues to play a key role. And remember, China also has a close ties with North Korea. It's among the biggest benefactors of the Kim regime with uh, uh, with the economic leverages. So China clearly is a key uh, player to watch out in all these uh, Kim Trump talks. Ramesh Ramachandran reporting from on the ground on the latest from Singapore with Kim Jong Un meeting his host, Prime Minister, the Singapore Prime Minister, ahead of that all important summit.